In this video, I'm going to show how to apply a drop shadow to a, an object really quickly and really effectively. I'm going to show two different methods, maybe three. Um, there's lots of ways to do this. But first, what I'm going to do is I'm using Adobe Illustrator CS6, by the way. I'm going to use my selection tool, my black arrow, to select the object or click on the object that I want to apply the shadow to. And I'm going to show you the quick way first. I'm going to go to Effect, Stylize, and Drop Shadow right there. And when I do that, I can check preview. I can um, change the opacity as well as the offset of this shadow. You see it's applying that black shadow to the design. Now this gives you a really flat look. It's, it's very effective for certain things, not so effective for other things. For this apple, for this to be really three-dimensional looking, it's not really working that well. Um, I can change the blur, and it's it, the more the blur is, it's the more, excuse me, the higher the blur is, the better this effect will work. But still kind of broad, not quite working like the way I want it to. You can also, like I mentioned, change the color to be whatever color you want. And it's going to have that blurred look to it as well. You can even make it glow this way. It's not a typical way to do a glow, but you can do it that way as well. There's a blend mode. This is something you see in Photoshop and many of the tools and menus of Photoshop. Um, you can change that as well. Once you hit OK, it's applied the shadow. Now that's a red shadow, which is fine for me um, for this demonstration. Um, to adjust that, I can go to Window, or I need to go to Window Appearance. Now like Photoshop's layers, I can adjust a lot of the features right here in Adobe Illustrator in the Appearance panel. So for this effect, it's like a layer in Photoshop, but it's an appearance attribute. I can click on the eyeball under Drop Shadow, I have to select the object first and then click the eyeball and I can turn it off. I can also click on the word drop shadow and I can change that drop shadow further from there. So maybe I just want it to be 25%. Um, that might work a lot better. And just hit OK and apply that drop shadow is not quite as um, bold as it was. That's one way you can apply drop shadow. That doesn't work so well for my design here and I really should have changed the angle a lot more for that to work better. What I'm going to do is kind of go an old school method. This is really a nice way to do it. I'm just going to use the ellipse tool. Shortcut to the ellipse tool is the L key on your keyboard. I'm drawing an ellipse uh, circle. And I'm going to change the color of that ellipse to have a black fill with no stroke. Um, and you can change that maybe to be a dark color instead of black. It could be a dark color, then it be black. And so right now you see, obviously, if you look at it like this, it's like this apple's kind of floating up or down, getting ready to hit the floor, or bouncing off the floor maybe. Um, if you move it up, obviously that shadow is on top of my object, and I'm going to go to, I'm selecting my shadow itself, I'm choosing Object Arrange Send to Back to make that, uh, that shadow go behind my object. Now you may also have to go to your Layers panel, and you may be able to move your objects up and down within your layers panel as well so obviously this path is right at the bottom you can just click and drag it down in the layers panel to do the same thing as object arrange send to back so there you go there's an, a shadow on the bottom I'm going to do one step further though to make that not such a harsh shadow I'm going to feather it out or blur it out there's two ways to do that in an earlier video, I went to Effect, Stylize, Feather to make these highlights and this shadow here. Um, you can do that right here, Effect, Stylize, Feather, and change your feather. You can also go Effect, Blur, Gaussian Blur. It does a very similar effect, pretty much the same effect. You just change the Radius Blur right here, and it will blur it out. Now, I don't like this as much because, as you see, when you blur it out all the way, it puts that rectangle around it, does some weird things. This is a Photoshop effect actually. Um, as you see here, it's under the Photoshop effect, um, which is making kind of a pixelated look to the design. It may work for you perfectly right there. I prefer going to effect stylized feather and making this a feathered out design like that. Now you can apply both effects to it just like I did right there and it might work quite well that way as well. So that makes a nice subtle shadow there and you can move that ellipse up and down. 
By the way, you can click on it. Your Gaussian blur is right here. Your feathers right here. You can turn them on and off within the appearance panel to lighten them or darken them as you see fit. Um, so that's just a couple ways you can apply a drop shadow. You can also do the same type of an effect by creating a gradient as well. So check out my gradient tutorial as you see fit.